Hi guys, welcome back. So you want to use magnesium supplement but you are a bit confused because there are 10 different types of magnesium supplements and you are not completely sure which one is beneficial for you. Different forms of magnesium have different bioavailability target tissues and clinical effect profiles. And after this video you will know about them. First form is magnesium L-threonate. It's great for the nervous system, memory, brain function and sleep. This is one of my personal favorites and you might know it if you have watched my longer video about my experience with magnesium L-threonate. So it's invented in 2010 by MIT neuroscientists and they wanted to formulate a magnesium that would be able to reach the brain tissue and cross the blood-brain barrier. So they developed the form and patented it. It's called Mactine, and this is the magnesium that you find in these l 3 supplements. By the way, all magnesium, like magnesium plus suffix form, magnesium glycinate, threonate, taurate, magnesium malate, etc., they're all lab-made compounds. They don't exist in whole foods in that form. In whole foods, the magnesium exists in its ionic mineral form bound to things like chlorophyll or fiber or protein or phytates. So magnesium supplements are made in lab and they bind the magnesium molecule to another molecule like amino or organic acid to enhance the absorption or target specific tissues like neural tissue or heart tissue. Magnesium L-threonate is bound to L-threonic acid, which is vitamin C metabolite, and it can enhance memory, learning, stress resistance, and sleep. So overall good for the brain. So if you have brain fog or anxiety or age-related cognitive decline, this might be a good form for you to try. Next form is magnesium glycinate. It's good for sleep, anxiety, and mood regulation. It's bound to glycine, a calming amino acid, and an inhibitory neurotransmitter that can enhance GABA in your brain and relax your nervous system. This one has high oral bioavailability an excellent gut tolerance and a very low risk of gut upset, making it one of the most most tolerable forms of magnesium overall. Some forms of magnesium cause stomach upset, we'll come to that later. Glycine actually reduces body temperature, which also facilitates sleep. So it has a lot of sleep supporting properties, hence the best time for taking this supplement is probably at the evening a few hours before bed. If you want to support sleep and nervous system relaxation effectively, I'd combine this form with l Next form, magnesium taurate, great for heart health, autonomic nervous system balance and blood sugar. So this form is bound to taurine, which is a sulfur containing compound that modulates heart rhythm, blood vessel function and calcium signaling in the cells. So scientific studies show that it can reduce blood pressure, improve or maintain steady heart rhythm and improve HRV, which is a marker of autonomic nervous system and recovery. Many people with stress and arrhythmias may find this form especially useful. Let's talk about research on this supplement is that this form actually also enhances brain magnesium levels, similar to magnesium l 3 as shown in animal models, and one preclinical study also found that it can reduce anxiety levels. Finally, it's rapidly absorbed and it has high bioavailability, so I would say it's a very high utility and interesting form of magnesium worth trying. Next one is magnesium malate, which I don't have as a separate supplement, but it's often contained in these multiform magnesium supplements. This form combines magnesium with malic acid, which is a key component in the Krebs cycle, and that is how your cells produce energy or ATP, so it's fundamentally important cellular process for sustaining life itself. The research in magnesium malate points to improving symptoms of fibromyalgia, including pain and fatigue, which makes sense considering its central role in the energy production. Another form that I don't keep at home, but I'm going to tell you about it, is magnesium citrate because it's very widely available. It's one of the most common supplements that you find in the market. This form is shown to support blood glucose control and decrease HbA1c, so the 
average blood sugar over measured over three months, as well as reduce blood pressure. It's also one of the most affordable forms of magnesium that actually absorbs to your body. But why many people don't like to use it is that it is absorbed across a broader span of the GI tract, uh, so your gut, and it relaxes muscles which means for many people to frequent visits to the bathroom. So it can make it a good supplement for constipation, but many people report gut upset and digestive tra tract issues, nausea, dizziness, a little bit unwanted side effects with this one. Hence, if you are experiencing this effect from citrate, then I'd Recommend to try other forms of magnesium and see maybe that changes. Then we have magnesium orotate, which is also used for heart conditions. In this form, the magnesium is bound to orotic acid, which plays a role in cardiac energy metabolism. And according to a meta-analysis, it can help cardiac patients by relieving tension headaches, increasing excess tolerance, relieving hypertension, relieving dizziness, reducing arrhythmias, and enhancing autonomic nervous system balance. So it's a very high utility supplement for the appropriate user cases. So finally, magnesium oxide. This is a supplement that you should not buy because it has very low bioavailability. In many studies, it's also shown to have side effects like gut upset, and it has also been used widely as a laxative. So as a summary, for brain health, anxiety, stress and sleep, go for magnesium l and magnesium glycinate. For cardiovascular health, blood sugar and longevity, go with Thorate. For more specific cardiac cases, go with Orotate. If you have fatigue or mitochondrial dysfunction, try Malate. And if you have constipation, maybe go with Citrate and avoid magnesium oxide unless you want a laxative. Here's what I found works for me very well. I take any high quality magnesium combination supplement that has most of the forms, as well as magnesium l to support my brain health and my nervous system balance. But you can also go with individual magnesium supplements. But I hope this helps. If these topics interest you, subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments which form of magnesium are you using and what kind of different effects have you noticed from different magnesium supplements. I hope to see you in the next video.